Hello and welcome back to SBUTV Sports. I'm Tyler Everett. Bonaventure graduate and former Bonaventure Sports Information Director Jim Englehart received the John Domino Award for his excellence in sports media Thursday night. Our Gannon Horning has the story. St. Bonaventure alumni Jim Englehart receives the John Domino Award for his excellence in sports media. Graduating from Bonaventure in 1979, he joins other Bonaventure alumni such as Paul Whelan, Tom McElroy, and fellow 79 alum Chris LaPlaca to receive the award. Graduating with a major in journalism and mass communication, Englehart became St. Bonaventure's sports information director in 1981, leading that department for 15 years before being promoted to assistant athletic director of communications and interim director of university public relations. He says, uh, for $12,000, I said, are you kidding me? Did I win the lottery? That's got an extra zero for what I made at St. Francis. I couldn't wait to get here. Englehart always joked about taking his classmates under his wing. Chris LaPlaca, ESPN's senior vice president and personal friend of Jim's, speaks about the impact that Englehart had on him and others that showed up for Jim's and ceremony. That keep going and going and going across the lake and across the pond are ceaseless. You see all the people here tonight. Your coaching tree is vibrant. We're all very grateful to be a part of it. In Jim's later years in St. Bonaventure, he became a professor and launched the Sports Writing and Information course, teaching notable Bonaventure alumni such as NBA insider Adrian Wojnarowski and lead sports columnist for New York Post, Mike Vaccaro. And there's no one who's had success here, whether it's a journalist, broadcast, or digital media, or athletic directors or whatever, that came to Bonaventure and the journalism school that didn't write and write a lot. It only makes you better no matter where you go. For SBU TV, I'm Yannon Horning. Some of, some of Bonaventure's most distinguished alumni have received the John Domino Award. The tradition will continue in two years for the next recipient of the award. And Bonnie's women's lacrosse prepares for a potentially historic moment this weekend. The program can clinch a postseason berth with a win versus LaSalle on Saturday, their first in two, since 2007. The Bonnie sit fifth in the Atlantic 10 and hold potential tiebreakers over, over both VCU and George Mason. Bonaventure last won the conference in 2006, posting a 15-2 record that season. Face-off between the Explorers and the Bonnies commences at noon at the Mar Athletics Field. The game will be streamed on ESPN3. And Bonnie's men's lacrosse rides an eight-game losing streak, falling to the Massachusetts Minutemen last week. The, but the team has two games remaining on the season and begins this stretch with a senior day against High Point on Saturday. Bonaventure looks to up their scoring, only producing three goals in its last game. They turn to graduate student Sean Wesley, coming off a hat-trick performance against UMass. First face-off between the Bonnies and the Panthers commences at 4 p.m., and the game will be streamed on ESPN+. And now more changes underway for Bonnie's basketball. Anquan Hill and redshirt freshman Tyler Curran entered the portal this week, joining Anwar Malouk, Max Madison, and Brett Rumpel. Hill, the former Northeastern Conference Rookie of the Year, tallied 1.9 points per game this season. But the Bonnie's moved quickly to fill these spots, receiving a commit from the George Washington big man Noel Brown. 6'11 junior appeared in 32 games last season and should boost the Bonnie's front court depth. And DeMar Hamlin returned to the Buffalo Bills in voluntary workouts this week after being cleared to resume full football activity. The three different specialists have cleared Hamlin after the 25-year-old suffered life-threatening injuries against the Cincinnati Bengals on Monday, January 3rd. Hamlin said, my heart is still in the game and that's something I want to prove to myself and nobody else. The Bills' offseason program began on April 17th and the organized team activities began on May 22nd. And Bonnie's spring sports coming down the stretch this weekend. First, Bonnie's baseball travels to Virginia for a doubleheader against George Mason, looking to snap their seven-game losing streak. Softball plays three straight in the nation's capital against George Washington, including a Saturday doubleheader. And track heads up to Buffalo to compete in the UB Alumni Outdoor Invite, and the golf team faces Colgate for their final competition before the Atlantic 10 tournament in Orlando. A potentially historic weekend for Bonnie Sports. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook to keep up with all of the action. And that's all for me in sports. Back over to you, Anthony.